What's good family? So mash the like button, subscribe and lick off the bell there. So wow, it's all kicking off. Now my loyal dons who follow the channel, you'll probably know that I haven't actually covered the fact that Alvarez and Plant have finally got their fight locked in for November, I believe. So that's congratulations to them. However, today's news, <laughs> we've had to briskly get over them pleasantries because Caleb Plant is super duper mouthy right now. He's kicking off because Canelo Alvarez's training partner, a cat called, I've never heard of him, but a cat called Oscar Valdez failed a PED test. He tested positive for a weight loss supplement called Fentamine before his fight with a Don called Robson Con CKO. Now again, I don't know these cats, but what we do know is your man's Caleb Plant has been going all the way off and essentially been implicating Canelo Alvarez. Now again, how does how does how, where does Alvarez fit in this? Well we know Eddie Reynoso is Alvarez's trainer and unfortunately Eddie Reynoso also trains Oscar Valdez. So your man's Caleb Plant has dragged Canelo Alvarez into the fray because of that link. Because Valdez is Alvarez's stable mate. However, <laughs> I'm going to get to the quotes of what Caleb Plant said because it's important. But you might need to know that he hasn't left it there. He hasn't left it as a mere, a mere mild link. Caleb Plant has also gone back through history and has aired out the allegations and positive tests from Canelo Alvarez's past. So trust me, Caleb Plant has gone all the way off. Check these comments. He said the following. It's a damn shame. This is obviously... Ca By the way, these are the comments from Caleb Plant. He said, it's a damn shame. Some people want to be great so bad that they cheat. And then there are people... Who want to be great so bad they don't cheat. Doing that isn't confidence. It's fear. All of a sudden we got chumps at home. With their feet kicked up on their couch. Sipping on Modelo. Who overnight know exactly what this drug and that drug does. But can't even pronounce the drug. Nah. Eddie Reynoso and Alvarez deserve B-I-T-C-H -B of the year. All of them are suspect. Middle finger emoji. Everything out of that camp is intentional. They have the knowledge and experience to know better. And the resources to have the best of the best in whatever they want. But, they, but yet they say tacos... And a random piece of meat. Or some green tea. Is the reason. Nobody puts anything in my body. Without me getting it approved first. By VADA. Who is the strictest testing company in the world. At this level. And with everything that's at stake and at risk. Why would I let somebody else play with my name. Shaking my damn head. So after everything a fighter works for and sacrifices, you're just going to let someone tell you to take something and you're just going to take it and not even be concerned that they may be flushing all you've accomplished down the drain. Because at the end of the day, I mean, has a name even been mentioned of who might have given Valdez, Canelo Alvarez's training partner, the alleged herbal tea? Nope. The only name that's coming out is the one who took it. So why let someone put you in that position? If you really start asking yourself these questions and really start unpackaging all this question by question, does it really add up? Does it really make sense? F no. This sport has no place for cheaters. You mean to tell me? Alvarez has made over a hundred million dollars and lives in San Diego 
but you ate some next booky tacos. Or a steak at some random looking ass taco stand in Mexico. Or some random ass steak and just doing that once gave you them mad high levels of clenbuterol. Get the F U C K out of here. People don't take this stuff out of confidence. They take it out of scariness and fear. They don't want to let their nuts hang. So they take that ish that will make them shrink. Wow. I said what I said and I stand by it. So F whoever doesn't like it. The people in the sport know what's up. But the ones who don't speak up are the same ones who cheat just like them. It almost seems frowned upon to even speak up on this stuff in boxing. But I don't give a sweet F-U-C-K. There's a whole other world out there when it comes to banned substances. That people in the fight game don't want to speak up about. But I could care less. There's no room for it. Boom. So you just heard there from your man's Caleb Plant giving an wow giving an I haven't seen a speech like that. <laughs> that was some gladi glad glad gladiatorial speech. Hundred percent confirmed. Some Russell Crowe type speech. Now, listen. My channel, this channel, wasn't around when Alvarez went through his his clenbuterol stuff. So, and to be honest, again, because I wasn't covering. USA Boxing at that point in time. I haven't really got an opinion on it. I don't know the ins and outs of it. Who knows. That said. What we know is. Not every fighter tests positive. If that makes sense. Now, I do have to agree with Caleb Plant. To some degree. In as much as. When you have that kind of camp here. When you have a Canelo Alvarez kind of camp. There is to an extent no excuses. However. If you know me. I always like to give people one chance, especially in this area. Why? I mean, yes, Alvarez is worth a hundred million dollars, but ultimately he came from pure poverty. Now, why is that relevant? Well, look at, we're talking about mentalities here. Canelo Alvarez will have been growing up going to random taco stores and random wherevers, and I'm sure he still visits his hometown. And whatnot. I'm sure he still visits the local people in the local shops. So how do we know that that once poor dude, that once that once poor man and poor boy, despite being worth a hundred million dollars now, that doesn't change your culture. Well, it shouldn't do, <laughs> unless you end up being brand new. But in the main, or at least initially, you don't just become brand new and completely different overnight. So who's to say that 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 young ghetto or young lower class kid didn't just go back to the hood and got caught. Got caught out. Because we do know, especially, for example, if you're going to Michelin star restaurants, they're going to be getting the finest cuts of meat. But if you go back to the hood, especially in Mexico when they things are tougher down there and they're trying to get more, pa more bang for their buck, we know that in giving cattle different substances increases the yield makes them bigger so who's to say that he didn't go back to the hood for a bit go back to his old community and just got caught once and that's why I, especially in Alvarez's position where he's from Mexico as such in the UK there's regulations and standards so if you're poor in London <laughs> you're poor in London Tesco's is Tesco's kind of thing but in Mexico and some of them more rural countries it's a different it's a different kind of a setting so for me personally i give people one chance happens again what's a tell lie i'm not i lied to you no i don't give everyone one chance if the circumstances can work out as they could have in alvarez's situation i let him off because of the situation i've explained now if he's telling me that 
If you're born in the USA, you got ain't got no excuse because you're going back to the, going back to the New York hood. You ain't got no goofy meats. Now, could this could be? Don't get me wrong. This could be a big song and a dance that Alvarez has put on. But I like evidence and facts. And for me, yeah, what we know historically about cheaters is, if they're cheating, they'll stay cheating. So if Alvarez got caught, he'll be caught again. And he hasn't been. So I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, look at people like Jarrell Miller. Jarrell Miller is a textbook case. Can't help himself. He needed juice to fight. And he got popped back to back. If Alvarez was that insecure and that scary, he'd have popped already by now. And I actually think that the good thing about Alvarez popping, yeah, actually showed that, you know, he's not above. He's not beyond repute as such. Because many people over the years have speculated that, oh, you know, these governing bodies and these testing agencies, they're all down for it. They're all just, they let all the big stars off. Oops. So the fact they pop Alvarez, even if, I have to admit, even if his ban wasn't that long. I'm sure they'll pop him again, wouldn't they? Which shows the fact they haven't popped him again. He must be clean. Bottom line. You have to, you can't, off one mistake that could be justified, that has a rhyme and a reason to it. It's not a massive stretch to think, yep, yeah, a young ghetto kid went back to the ghetto and had some food. That's not, that's not a big stretch. And the reason I give you that background is to say that Keller Plant, he stay holding it against Alvarez. Now, equally, what we know is Alvarez is one of Alvarez's training partners has just tested positive. Again, I can see where Kayla Plant's coming from here. You got two dudes in two camps, two mistakes. But each man is 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 his own man. Yeah? Fair enough. If you want to bring Eddie Reynoso into it and say, well, you know, he's the common denominator here. That's hard to... You can't lie there, can you? You can't say no. He's not the common denominator. He is a... Sorry, he's not the... But he is a common denominator. Should Eddie Reynoso be taking closer care of his fighters? Who knows? We know Ryan Garcia hasn't. His other bigger name fighters haven't. Andy Ruiz hasn't. Ryan Garcia hasn't. Al Canelo Alvarez hasn't since. So I think... Is it a big conspiracy going on where they're all running different cycles and it's all... <laughs> Me right now, I haven't got any, any information on that. So, Caleb Plant, if you've got some information you want to release, you sit there talking about, oh, you know, we all know that boxing insiders know this, boxing insiders know that. Where's the report? Where's the evidence then? I've always wondered this with... For many years now, we've heard a lot of talk. We heard from Deontay Wilder. We've heard from a whole bag of mans talking a whole bunch of accusations. Just just release the report. Just release the evidence. Just release the whatevers. Oops, there ain't none. You're just talking. Yeah? And what I will say, to be honest with you, I don't really knock this. I think it's quite good in a way. This is good, this is good smokiness. It's good fight promotion. But what I will say is, I just hope your man's plant, Caleb Plant, I hope he remembers this. I hope he brings this kind of attitude. Because he just spent a whole paragraph talking real smoky. Talking real smoky about Alvarez. Talking real smoky about Reynoso. And we know what happened to the last Don who tried that. Your man's Billy. Yeah? Billy tried all that. Oops, what happened to him? He ended up smoked. He ended up grabbing his ankles and my man's Alvarez pushed last week's dinner back in for him that's what happened to my man so let me tell you right now Caleb Plant if you don't enjoy having your week before's dinner being pushed back in <laughs> yeah if you don't enjoy that if you don't enjoy 
last week's dinner being pushed in to meet this week's dinner. Yeah. <laughs> if I was you, I'd let it go. But it's the problem with some of these cats. A lot of these boxers, especially these protective ones, like Billy Ho and Plant, because they've spent their whole career and they've won every fight, they don't know what they don't know. Do you understand? They don't know how bad things can really get when you're in a proper fight. Because Billy didn't, did he? Billy thought, oh, I can talk this, I can talk that. I've been through it all, I've seen it all. Oops, he hadn't seen it all. Again, you don't know what you don't know. Right now, six, seven weeks before, however many weeks before the fight, this sounds like a smart idea, doesn't it? Oh, man, you know, now is here a cheater, and I'm going to whoop the, I'm going to whoop the cheater out of this dude, and who this dude think he is, and... Next thing you know, Alvarez hanging at the back of Caleb Plant, and he down bad, and his missus is on TV, holding her mouth in shock at how down bad her man's is. Yeah, that's what's coming next. But uh, to be honest, I don't even mind it. Listen, Caleb, if you're able to carry on this kind of energy whilst Alvarez is hanging at your backside, I don't mind that. But what I don't want to see is, I don't want to see Canelo Alvarez start applying pressure and you fold. And you start looking for a way out. Because what I'll be thinking at that point in time is, where was all that talk? Isn't it? Where was all the, where was that smoky essay you wrote gone? Don't be given the smoky essay eight weeks before the fight and then in the fight, you're in the corner begging your mans to... To pull you out because you're down bad. Don't be that guy. Just remember these all these smoky things you've been saying about the team and about Reynoso and about Canelo and all this stuff. Just remember them things when they, when you're in the fight. Now, don't get me wrong. There's many Caleb Plant fans who think he's going to go in there and, and box Canelo Alvarez's head off. Fair play to you. If he does that, I'll eat my hat and I'll give him credit. That, In my opinion, if Caleb Plant boxes Alvarez's head off, it would have been one of the best boxing performances in the last 20, 30 years, probably. All credit. But if he don't, you best, you best dig deep. You best show us some of these things you've been talking about in the ring. Because a lot of these cats, as I've explained, they got all these, they got a lot to say. My man writing essays, doing the most on social media. And they get in the ring, which is the sport they picked, by the way. Didn't no one ask them to get in there. Some of these cats end up looking better on social media than they was. You know what I'm saying? Billy Ho Saunders brought more attitude on social media than he did in the ring. He didn't listen. Billy didn't have no attitude in the ring. Billy was subservient. Billy was a bottom in the ring. 100%. He was a bottom. Super, super duper subservient. Yeah? He's a sub. Billy was a sub in the ring. A sub bottom. That was your man's Billy. Yeah? 100%. So whatever you do, Caleb Plant, don't go out like Billy Ho Saunders. Don't be giving it this whole, oh no, I'm not a sub, I'm a dom. Yeah, this is the problem, you see. A lot of these dudes, a lot of these social media cats, they grew up on social media where everyone, I'm alpha, I'm dom. But really, they beta, and they subs, and they bottoms. It's a fact. Not, not, every, no, no, not everyone can be a top. Yeah? Not everyone could be an alpha. What we know is, we're going to find out in six, eight weeks. <laughs> who's it, Who's going to make the bottom out of who? Who's going to make the sub out of who? And I'm telling you, I'm leaning towards... <laughs> not leaning, I'm telling you now. Alvarez is going to make a sub. A submissive, looking at us, out of your man's Caleb plant. That's just what I'm telling you what's going to happen. But all, I'm, all I ask is, is that your man's, Caleb, just show us some of these things. I want you to be in the ring saying, come on, go in. You know what I'm saying? When he, start, when he starts giving it to you, when Alvarez starts riding the back legs off you, I want you to be in there and tucking up and digging back and saying, come on, you big juice head. Yeah? Don't be, don't be shriveling in the corner. Wilting, begging, chewing people's ears off to get out of the ring. Don't be doing that. Yeah? So let's see anyway. Maybe he'll be different. Maybe he's going to back it up in the ring. Let's find out.